Welcome back to viewers, you're still watching Nile Cruise on Nile TV and from a very special place in Cairo, from Maniel Palace Museum. Here in the heart of Cairo, from Maniel, we bring you a very special episode and uh, of course the viewers, the Decent Life uh, Haya Karima uh, initiative dates back to 2019 when the Ministry of Social Solidarity was put in charge of developing Egypt's poorest 1,000 villages where 70% of the population now are living in below the poverty line. But at the end of 2020, President Al Fatah Sisi decided to expand the initiative to include all the country's 4,658 villages. The initiative witnesses the, uh, of course, aggregation of the work efforts of all the initiatives, such as the 100 million health initiative, solidarity, and dignity and of course Egypt without debts and many others and we are honored in this context dear viewers to host our dear guest uh, May Mataz one of the volunteers of this uh, for the decent life initiative to tell us more about it uh, very good uh, day uh, and it's a pleasure to have you with us May of course in this uh, segment of Nile Cruise from a very special place here in Cairo which is this wonderful authentic architecture place in Egypt yeah thank you and that's my pleasure to be with you and to present our efforts and um, our achievements in Haya Karima initiative um, actually I'm uh, volunteering with the Lightmakers Foundation um, I, I'm a volunteering with Lightmaker Foundation and the uh, Lightmakers Foundation is one of the main NGOs in Egypt uh, participated in developing uh, and implementing Haya Karima initiative uh, across Egypt actually uh, we participated in the first phase of uh, Haya Karima in 2020 um, uh, and implementing our activities into Haya and Ena uh, in 10 villages Okay, May, uh, May uh, you are responsible of 10 villages and the first phase um, and the first phase because actually, uh, yeah, I'm volunteering in Suhag the and so this Lark is Upper Egypt yes, in Suhag Upper Egypt. and Inna. Inna. Yes. so these are the uh, place, uh, the two places, the, the two uh, cities that you are uh, uh, volunteer, that you, vo you, you work in, you volunteer and participate in a decent life initiative yes. in Lisa. But what are your activities in this uh, uh, area that you participate in? Um, in, in uh, we participated in, uh, our, we implemented our activities in 10 villages. Um, the villages are... Uh, Take your time, no okay. problem. Take your time. Nazlet Amara, Hagir Mashta, El Hagarsa, El Kawaim El Bahari, El Qawiya, Kum Gharib, and these villages are in Suhaeg. Naga Azuz, Abu Mana Ibli, Samahud, Blad El Mel Bahari, and these villages are in Ena. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Actually, uh, these villages, um, the poverty rate in, uh, rate in these villages um, are between 76% uh, to 81%, and this is according to the poverty mapping produced by CAPMIS and based on uh, yani the initiative of Haya Karima based on. Um, uh, uh, this poverty mapping and selecting the uh, villages are most in need. May, uh, of course, uh, the villages after you volunteered in the Decent Life Initiative, Decent Life Initiative, sorry, on the auspices of Prince Fatah Sisi, and you volunteered in Suhag and in Inna in Upper Egypt. So the villages that you volunteered and worked on, of course, the rate of poverty today. Uh, how long have you been, how long have you been uh, working in these uh, um, uh, villages? Um, um, for like two years. Okay, for two good years. In this two good years, the poverty, um, the rate of poverty decreased, of course, or it's still as it is. No, of course, the rate of poverty decreased in the ten targeted villages. Actually, uh, after we did the, our interventions from uh, like uh, medical uh, services, providing medical services, providing uh, economic empowerment for the targeted beneficiaries, 
of course, of course, uh, these interventions affected positively on uh, the uh, beneficiaries and the uh, standard of living of their um, the standard uh, of living yes. of the people over there. Yes, and exactly. Do you see it? And do you see it? And do you see, do you see the people happy? Do you see the citizens happy? Yes, do of course. Do they feel the difference? Of course, when they feel, uh, yeah, they feel the difference when uh, they have a good access and um, a, a comfortable uh, access to uh, the medical services. Uh, the uh, uh, to, to have their um, uh, natural rights to have uh, clean water, to, to, to have uh, sanitation connections, to, to, uh, to have uh, educational uh, and uh, uh, um, awareness raising uh, uh, topics and, um, and, and raise uh, their awareness about many topics that they were like um, a need, a real need uh, to, to, have, uh, to have it. Okay, what um, uh, you told us the ge geographical scope you covered is Sena is Khana and Tuhag yes. and the ten villages that you mentioned. Yes. Um, the Ministry of Social Solidarity was put in charge of developing Egypt's poorest one thousand villages. What is the number of target targeted families, and how do you reach these families? Actually, we targeted the first phase um, uh, two thousand. Uh, uh, 27,120 families are most in need in these uh, targeted villages and um, we uh, reach uh, the targeted families through uh, uh, two steps. The first step is to determine the, uh, the villages and uh, map, uh, make like um, mapping for the villages including the demographical data of each village, the uh, services provided in each village and uh, other uh, data, uh, the, the economic activities in, um, uh, in each village. Uh, then we collect the data uh, about uh, the uh, families are most in need and verify this data from the ministry, uh, from the database of the Ministry of Social Solidarity, the Kefalo Karama, from our volunteers in the uh, uh, targeted villages and uh, from our partners uh, like the grassroots NGOs in uh, these villages. What assistance do you provide uh, for these families? Uh, Actually, uh, we provide the, the yeah, we are on uh, the same line and we are aligned to the interventions mentioned in uh, Haya Karima or the Decent Life uh, uh, initiative um, and we provided uh, 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 medical services including launching uh, uh, medical convoys and providing health services. Um, providing uh, infrastructure services uh, like improving nurseries, uh, decent uh, housing, including upgrading housing and extending water connection and sanitation connections, um, providing social interventions, including family, children, and women, and special needs uh, awareness uh, for them, and um, provide direct and kind aids for families are most in need like uh, food baskets, uh, blankets, and uh, uh, clothes. Okay, um, what are the criteria on which families are selected? Okay, uh, actually we have uh, like two criteria. First, we have a criteria for selecting the villages, the targeted uh, 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 villages, and uh, we focus on uh, the weakness of educational level, the weakness of uh, uh, the uh, uh, road network, uh, the needs for medical services, and uh, the um, uh, weakness of um, basic services in general in the village. This is the first level of uh, determining the uh, uh, villages are most in need. Then we uh, uh, determine the families are most in need in these villages based on Takafulu Karama b database, uh, uh, the database of uh, Ministry of Social solidarity and through our volunteers in the villages and uh, through our partners uh, in, in uh, NGOs uh, partners in uh, these villages. The data we collect on the families are most in need, the targeted families are most in need. We verified by um, field visits, uh, uh, verification documents like the ID, the uh, social uh, affairs uh, case uh, researches and so on. Okay, uh, what is the role of youth in the initiative and whether in the implementation or in benefiting for the initiative? Actually, um, I believe that uh, the youth have a great role and a vital role in the Haya Karima initiative. 
Um, and if we are talking about uh, how to make a benefit from the initiative, they, of course, uh, can make a benefit from the awareness sessions provided uh, to youth, uh, the uh, capacity building programs provided to youth um, in many different topics. And on the other hand, they uh, could volunteer in implementing the uh, uh, activities of Haya Karima. And um, these volunteering uh, opportunities are provided by the NGOs uh, participated in, the, uh, in implementing the activities like Life Makers. Uh, why are the governmental bodies you coordinating with uh, within the frame of this initiative? Um, of course, the governmental bodies uh, help exactly. you, of course, and uh, they are of great help. Yes, and exactly. they are backing you all. Really. Yeah, exactly. The Ministry of Social Solidarity is the main uh, uh, governmental body. Uh, we are coordinating our work with them. Uh, the Ministry of uh, Local um, uh, Development, uh, the governments and um, the uh, uh, local authorities within the governments, uh, the targeted go government rates, sorry. Okay, what are the goals achieved till now? Okay, during the first phase of uh, our participation uh, in Haya Karima, uh, we have um, installed the 350 water connections in the targeted uh, 10 village uh, I, I was talking about. And um, we have installed... Uh, sorry to interrupt you, my uh, water connections in the village or in the houses in the villages? Um, in the villages to connect water to the houses. Okay. Yeah. So it's a big one that connects water, uh, a smaller one, with smaller water um, apparatus into the house. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have installed uh, 263 uh, sanitation connections. We have installed uh, 870 roofs, and we uh, have upgraded uh, 1,320 houses. Um, we have provided uh, maintenance service to seven social units in the uh, ten villages, uh, and we have provided maintenance service to three nursery, uh, nurseries. Uh, we have developed 8,328 uh, case researches for families are most in need, and we have developed 244 case researches for disabled people. And we have organized 21 medical convoys and um, uh, 11 veteran convoys. Uh, we have provided 678 surgeries and uh, uh, we have provided um, uh, tw uh, two uh, 220 uh, prosthetic devices and we have provided uh, 1920 glasses. Wonderful. Um, uh, what uh, is Actually, the goal? Um, uh, the uh, sorry for the, the interruption, but we achieved like 100% uh, and one um, uh, over the 100% uh, of our target beneficiaries. Okay, the next phase. What is your goal of uh, the uh, initiative uh, during the next phase? Okay, um, we are participating in the next phase of uh, Haya Karima and uh, Suhaeg. Decent life. Yes, decent life um, in, uh, in, in Suhaeg in, uh, uh, three, uh, in 35 uh, villages in Suhaeg. And uh, we are targeting to reach more than um, uh, 49,000 of beneficiaries and uh, the services uh, are planned uh, to, to be delivered like literacy uh, eradication, raising awareness, economic empowerment for women, um, uh, providing processing uh, de devices and building the capacity of grassroots uh, NGOs uh, in Suhaeg. Okay, how do, you, uh, how do we participate as citizens in this initiative? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, actually, uh, uh, per personally, I found that volunteering within Haya Karima added to my experience and um, uh, uh, um, added to uh, the lesson learned from um, how to, to, to get in the community and how to, to deal with the families that are most in need and uh, how to think out of the box to, to provide like services uh, are needed um, uh, uh, by these families so I believe the volunteering opportunities um, is the, the key password for participating in a uh, decent life initiative. Okay uh, our guests are uh, informative guests, uh, wonderful guests, uh, May Mataz, one of the volunteers of uh, the initiative Decent Life, which is of course under the auspices of President Abu Fatah and President Abu Fatah uh, gives 
uh, very important um, attention to this uh, decent life initiative and it is on the top of his priorities sorry to mention um, May is one of the volunteers in this initiative and um, she told us uh, a lot about this the initiative um, how to volunteer if you decide to volunteer which would be a wonderful idea from here from Nile Cruise from Nile TV we have one of the volunteers that's working on uh, Upper Egypt and uh, she says it's a wonderful idea that everyone participates. Uh, Maya Omar, thank you very much for joining us in this segment of Alain Cruz. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Uh, it's a pleasure to have Egyptians that um, work on their country and want uh, the, the country, of course, to uh, become the best. Uh, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And thank you very much for the all your efforts. Uh, thank you. Dear viewers, stay tuned. We'll be back again.